is my dream. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina. As promised, as part of the upgrades on my solar setup here, my 1.2 kilowatt solar setup. We have this, the DSP, Pure Sine Wave DC to AC Inverter. This is by Ames Power. So I, if you watch my other video on the one year review of my setup, you'll see that uh, this was kind of an issue here. The inverter that I had, the 24 to 120 volt inverter, I have issues. I've actually replaced it twice and it had issues again after that. So I decided let's spend some real money. And this was real money. This was uh, probably three times what I paid for the original inverter that I used on this system. but. I'm hoping that this one lasts. It also comes with a three-year warranty where the original one, if you watch that video, really ended up coming with none, even though it said it had a one-year warranty. So let's unbox this thing. I'll go ahead and install it and we will give it a try. Uh, model number, holy cow, that's a long one. So we won't, we won't go over it. One thing I do want to point out, the original was a 2000 watt inverter. I did pay to upgrade it to 3000 watt out. Why? Well, microwave, that was the only reason. I wanted to be able to fire off a microwave just for you know, two minutes to boil water or something like that. And uh, 2000 watts, which was pretty much 1500 watts, just couldn't cut it. So got 24 volts coming in from my battery and from the solar array, 120 out. And it's a nice looking piece of equipment from what I've read online. Very few people complaining. If you ever follow uh, Prepper Nurse One, this is the uh, setup he uses, or this is the power pack he uses. So he's pretty happy with it as well. I think he has replaced one of his over the years, but his system being about four times the size of mine, it's not too unexpected. Okay, here's our manual. Mm, she's bigger than the other one, that's for sure. Holy cow, and she's a lot heavier than the other one. Get this out of the way. And here we go. Yeah, she's a lot better. Holy smokes. All right. Accessories, what do we got here? Mm -hmm. Looks like we have some spare fuses. This here, uh, supplemental remote switch. Oh, okay. So you could power this thing up or power it down remotely from the house or wherever, I guess. Um, not necessary for me with the setup that I have here, but nice to have. And then voice warning device for battery voltage. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? So yeah, wow, it really is a voice warning. So I guess if your battery voltage drops down below a safe amount, this thing will give you a voice warning saying, hey man, uh, damage could occur, shut this thing down. So that's really cool, I like that. And all the mounting hardware for it. This being to hook the uh, power, you know, the, your main cables up, that's nice. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the manual and then I'll show you a little closer on the unit itself. And then in part two of this very short series here, I will, uh, I will show you it in, in operation. Ames Power Operation Manual looks like it covers several different models. Ours being, uh, I think, that one. No, maybe, yeah, probably that one. Pretty big, whatever it is. So different models, specs. So ours is uh, 24 volt, 3000 watt, and 4000 watt surge. Wow, okay. Show some hookup stuff. Looks like we, you know, it's going through what's safe as far as lighting. And this is safe to operate with electronics, which is nice. Nice full color, tech support, 15 pages in English there, and then there's also some other stuff, uh, you know, how to hook up your, your connections properly without cooking yourself, hopefully. Uh, mount covers, so you have covers you put on here, and that's these pieces, so in order to keep you from getting fried. And I'm telling you, one of the things that I guess I didn't really think about when I installed this system the first time was that it is really easy to die messing with solar power. You're talking about plenty of amperage and plenty of voltage to do the job. So you can kill yourself on the 120 side, or you can kill yourself on the 24 volt side, or you can kill yourself with the solar panels. So it's really easy to get cooked. And for that, I would say if you are amateur hour, if you're not familiar with how electronics work inside of a house, 
or inside of an automobile or something like that, you probably want to study up big time before you start playing around because just brushing, brushing against the wrong thing at the wrong time will turn you into a human Roman candle. I don't recommend it. So it even has size uh, requirements for the cabling so it doesn't overheat and smoke you. Awesome. All right, as far as the device, it's definitely longer than the one that I'm replacing. And it's definitely about three times the weight. On the back here, we have our power. We have two fans to help keep the system cool. We do have these nice covers that have a hole for the cabling to go through. And there's our, there's our actual mounts. The bottom here, just rubberized mounts. I'll be screwing that into. And the front is nice. Make sure you can see that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Power on and off. And we have our, our plug here. Looks like it, yeah, it's a GFI. That's interesting. Okay, so that's really nice. And what's that one there? Output breaker switch. Okay. Okay, so very interesting. We have a main power on, but we can also power down the outlet or power it up separately. I like that. And uh, we have a ground connection. That's good because I do have want to hook mine to ground. Here's our remote switch and our voice stuff here. And wow, there's our bus bar. That's cool. Okay, so. The one that I'm replacing, I had to take, you know, hard wiring. I had to take Romex and put a plug on it so I could plug it into this. This allows me to hook directly to the bus bar like you would inside of a house. So that's that's nice. That's going to be a nice little bonus there as well. So I'll definitely be doing that. Right on. And I guess that'll do it for part one. I'm going to go ahead and install this thing. And we'll get it set up. And we will test it out and see how well it works. We'll see what kind of noise we get on the lines. I have a feeling this is going to be uh, miles and miles and miles away and better than the one that I'm replacing it with. Take care, my friends.